Well, hello. Just got done with a really good walk. Feeling a little tired today. I slept 10 and a half hours last night. I was exhausted, but it's all good. I'm not feeling sick, just a little tired. Glory to God. So I got a call from that safe spot um, place that I had contacted to see about winter parking. I had to pray for that guy. He was so rude. So I inquired about this one area because it's in the area I want to be. The other area they have is in a really bad area. And he goes, uh, no, that one's four to six months waiting list. And I said, oh, well, that won't work for me, but thank you. And he goes, I have two spots at this one downtown location in Eugene, the town over. I said, oh, no, absolutely not. I'm fine where I'm at. I'm not going to go into that area of town. He goes, well, then you must not want a place that bad. <laughs> I said, excuse me? I said, I'm not desperate. I was just trying to make a plan so when winter hits that I would feel safer on icy and snowy days. <laughs> I said, but that's okay. God will provide. It's not meant for me to stay at any of your establishments. Have a blessed day. He goes, well, it's up to you. I said, thank you. So I, I did pray for him because obviously he must have been having a bad day because he works with people in need and he was just he was just rude and uh, I, I didn't think I sounded desperate I was pretty straight about you know this is I don't need any amenities I just would like to park in the parking lot on icy and snowy days that was it but that's okay not meant to be God will put me in the right spot so then um, I get a call this morning through the Cancer Society they have the belief room and uh, where they people donate money and wigs and head coverings and yesterday during treatment I was speaking to a lady where she got her wig and uh, It'd be nice because, you know, I don't even feel like doing mascara, you know. I, I, feel, actually, I feel like a boy. And, you know, just it's just short and just too short for my liking. But it, and it keeps falling out. But anyway, so I called yesterday and they called me this morning. So I get to go Monday morning for a wig fitting. And she said they got hundreds to choose from. So I hope there's something that has some kind of a curl with red. I love red hair so uh, I'm excited whatever it is I'm grateful to God and it's all free uh, they do the fitting and you know teach the ins and outs which I'm a cosmetologist of 25 years and I've done a lot of work with wigs in the past but it'll be nice to be pampered and to have something that I could put on on days where I just want to feel girly so that'll be nice I uh, just did a really nice walk, just beautiful out as you can see. It's breezy, but it's beautiful. It's supposed to be 60 degrees today, and uh, actually nice weather for the next few days, and then slight chance of rain, but I welcome the rain too, so there's always breaks where I could get walks in most days, so I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to God for giving me another day to be in it, that's for sure. But yeah, a lot of people out at the park with their doggies. And yeah, yeah, it's just a beautiful park. They really keep this park clean and it's nice and I feel safe. You know, I don't worry about people messing with my van, which is nice. Uh, there's other areas, the back part of this park behind the stadium where it gets a little, I, I won't go too far walking if I, my van is not in eye distance, but I just never worry about it at this park. I don't worry about walking. Uh, it's really lit up even early morning so I could walk over to the trash can and dump trash if, if it's still um, not light out, you know, and feel safe. So yeah, I like this park. It's nice. It seems to be my 90% uh, of the time home. And I have a really, it's a good walking paths and there's not a lot of hills, which, you know, upgrades. 
because, uh, well, not so much now, but when I was struggling with my voice and my air passage, it was really hard. I would be so winded. But now, I mean, I'm back at a brisk pace, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna do another walk a little bit later. It's so cool, my daughter, we FaceTime, and you know, she's my biggest cheerleader, so that makes it nice. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of touch base, and I'm excited for the wig fitting, and excited to see what kind of hair I'm gonna have for a while, and then, uh, I'm okay with the not being able to park in that area, you know, uh, though people did tell me, oh, you could park here, you know, <laughs> we won't say nothing, but if I don't have permission, I'm not going to do it. I have to have permission, so I'm not about breaking rules and laws, I'm, you know, give me permission, it's all good. So. I guess that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say, hey, and God loves you right where you're at. He is so good to us. He is so, so good to us. And only great things are ahead for us. We're almost done with 2024. It's uh, been a roller coaster ride for me, but I'm just grateful and thankful, and I'm excited for what, got the heck up, excuse me, for what's to come. You know, the Lord is just, He's just leading me and guiding me, and he's doing the same for you. We just have to listen, and then we have to obey. So I just pray you have a wonderful rest of your week. Do something amazing for yourselves and for others, and always honor and glorify the Lord. And don't forget the challenge. Do something. Listen to something, you know, biblical. Uh, for me, it's Billy Graham back at it again. And, uh, well, last night I watched the movie of John for the second time, but I fell asleep this time to it, but it's all good. Uh, anyway, God is good. God is great. And I pray for you, pray for me. And I cannot wait to share on Monday, but of course I'll be talking to y'all for sure on Sunday where we'll share the word of God because he's just amazing. I could do it every day. Well, I do every day, but someone... Anyway, I'm babbling on because I feel good. I feel good. All right, this is Gracie, and I am out. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.